Hello everyone, today we have a um, Mercedes W221 S550. Um, this car has a problem um, with the front SEM module. We basically gotta use one which is installed in the vehicle. We gotta remove that. That's the new one basically. Not new one, but it's used from a donor vehicle. That's the original one. Basically what we're going to do is today um, using IM608, we're going to read all the information, EEPROM file and the flash file of the original one and we're gonna write into the um, new one basically new use one because you cannot program this through the OBD um, this is the basically um you gotta do bench programming read the files so we gotta go to programmer except okay. I'm just trying to update right now by the way um, I'm using the XP 400 it's not a pro, it's the regular one. But it works, I know. If you have made the connections correctly, you should have a good read. And I will just show you where you can get the wiring diagram from. It updates like this sometimes when you uh, plug it into the laptop or PC and then you switching to the on. Um, to the IM608, it just changes the mode, I believe. Anyways, guys, in this section, we're gonna go to chip, and then we're gonna go to chip read and write. Okay, it says in here, EEPROM, MCU engine, immobilizer, and blah, and blah. So, it doesn't say fuse box or sound module, obviously. We're gonna go to other, and we're gonna go to Mercedes-Benz, and um, we're gonna find W221, as you see in here, W221 front SEM computer. Okay, that's the one. I would have looked up in the um, wiring diagrams. I have the exact one. Press OK. So basically, um, let's say we're gonna do the flash first. All right, and you can have the schematics right here. The wiring diagrams, and accordingly, you can um, you can directly solder on the uh, circuit board. I just show you guys a little bit. I'll try to zoom in a little bit. Okay, here we go guys. You see, if you look at the circuit board and this diagram, it matches 100%. You just have to make these connections properly. Okay, and um, I'm using the uh, APA106 connector, which is right over here, okay? And the connections exactly accordingly. I have not tried to read it yet. If we do have a good, good um, connection with the southern points, we shouldn't have any issues. So let's hit read. Right now we're gonna try to read the um, flash data. Basically the operating system on the soft, I mean on this hardware. Flash data sometimes takes longer time to read it. It's a lot larger file than an EEPROM. Hopefully, okay, so we didn't do a good connection somewhere. We gotta find it out. Okay guys, so um, I found that not not a good connected cable, which was my blue one. It was kind of breaking apart. So I fixed that up and I put it in there. And as you see now, it's reading the flash file at the moment. We're gonna save that file. And we're gonna try to read the EEPROM data and then connect it to the new one and load all the file to that one. And basically the vehicle will think that it is the same exact module. Because at the moment, the car don't start like almost the, most of the functions in the car it just does not work so as you see this is the hexadecimal file basically binary file that belongs to this vehicle um we're gonna save this file to let's see where's where is the um all right so here we go it's in here programmer i'm gonna change the um actually um i'm not gonna change it i'm gonna leave it like that Sam computer flash on the programmer, save. Okay, we're gonna go back, we're gonna go to EEPROM, and it's the same exact um, southern points uh, as it shows in the systematic diagram. We're gonna go to hit, hit read again. And then we'll try to connect it to the EEPROM section of the chip and read it. Hopefully, it won't give us a problem. Alright, we got it. Let's see. This is the EEPROM file. It's a 
smaller file as you see it's a lot faster to read all right that's most likely where all the um the, well the VIN number the cars information is in here save it and this is the EEPROM as you see I'm saving it right here save that's it so now I'm gonna desolder all the points from here and we're gonna take off that new one again that's underneath the two box we're gonna connect to it we're gonna write all the files that we've read from it and then we should be good to go guys okay people so um that's the new one that we have that was installed on the vehicle and that's the old one that I was the one I was ever working on so I did do the connection same as I did before to this particular one the new one so I'm gonna try to read it hopefully this time we have a good connection we won't have problems so we're gonna read the EEPROM first it doesn't matter you can read either one of those if you do have a good connection we should be able to read it very quickly yep so we have the new EEPROM. I want to just save this just in case if anything goes wrong during the programming. So um, as you see, it says EEPROM, but I'm going to put in here new. So we, we don't get confused because it's going to put the same name, same name as the original one. So save this one. Okay. And we're going to go back and we're going to read the flash. gonna wait until it loads up I'm backing up the original files on this new one which we don't even need it but um just in case if something goes wrong it's always good to have a backup and return it back to the normal uh, normal um, way and then try to do something else done all right this is the new flash file which we're not going to be using i'm just gonna save it just in case i'm gonna put in here again new so would i get confused with the other one the original ones all right so now uh, we're on the flash we're on the flash side of this we're gonna go to right it's gonna take me um, to this right here, programmer. So we're going to find right now the file that we have um, saved. Let's see where it is. Here we go. As you see, this new one, flash file. Uh, There's a new one, let me see. Hold on, let's just find some new computer flash. New computer EEPROM. This is, okay, this is the uh, EEPROM file, original EEPROM file, and this is the um, flash. So we're gonna write the flash. This is the one I remember, as you guys also seen it. So we're just gonna wait until it writes it out. Hopefully without a problem. And then I will try this on the car, make sure um, the problem is fixed. Main problem was with this car was um, it was acting up in so many different ways, especially the air conditioning was not coming on. When we when we hooked up a scope to the uh, communication lines, um, that's coming from the SAM module going to the a AC compressor. There was nothing going on. It was just not sending any um, inform. It was just not sending anything, and there was no fault codes. And um, once we open up the module, the old one, I'll show you guys in a meanwhile. There's some burnt parts, as you see a couple of places in here, as you see in here. So, um, something burned inside it, and it smells like it's burnt as well. So hopefully this car will be fixed and we'll be on our way. All right guys, I'm, I'm gonna continue once this is done. Okay, so the chip written successfully. Okay, and now we're gonna go to um, escape. We're gonna go to EEPROM file, and um, if you're gonna hit right, we're gonna choose that file. There's something in here. All right, so um, this is the flash. Okay, W221 front sem in computer EEPROM. 
So this was the file, this is the original one. It does not say new on it. And this should be a lot quicker to write than the, um, yep, here we go. That's it. So I'm gonna put the car back together, decide all these things and put the car back together, clear the codes, see what happens with the car. Okay guys, um, so we start the car. I actually clear the codes with my scanner. Okay, now let's see how, and this car was blowing like hot, hot before. So let's check what's the, what is it reading right now? 58, 57, this is perfect guys. Our air conditioning is back alive. And the SAM module has no codes in it. Okay, guys. So, programming is finished. Diagnosis is correct. And um, car is back to normal. And this car had a lot more problems, actually. We had so many lights on. Um, a whole bunch of different one of them was always caused by that uh, front SAM module. After we um, replaced it and programmed it, installed it on the vehicle, Clear the codes as you see the dashboard there's no more fault messages guys i hope this one helps somebody out and you see a day